I'm going to demonstrate how we actually excavate here at the site. I've got my trowel, I've got a dustpan, and I put it on edge, and I'm just going to very gently scrape, scrape, scrape the dirt into the dustpan. And as I do this, I'm trying to expose artifacts that might be in the ground. So here I'm actually starting to find something, and I'm going to shift over to using just a wooden skewer. And the wooden skewer is good because it doesn't scratch up the rock that I'm trying to expose here. And then I'm going to switch to using a brush so that I can just brush this away. And we can see I can even turn the end of the brush over and use it to dig with a little bit. And ultimately, I can expose this thing. As I'm looking at it and clean it up, it's just a plain old rock. But there are a lot of these kinds of objects that we find in sites. Sometimes they're artifacts, sometimes they're just plain rocks. So, as I trowel this dirt into the dustpan, I'm going to put it into a bucket, and that bucket will go off and have everything get screened. The students will pass the dirt they've excavated into a set of screens, and we use water in order to wash the dirt away and expose artifacts. The things that we can find with wet screening include very fragile items, things that wouldn't necessarily show up if you're processing the dirt by dry screening it. You see that there are some very unusual shapes here in the floor, and these shapes show the outlines of rodent burrows. So we have burrowing gophers and uh, mice and things like this in the site, and they burrow down through the layers of dirt and they can mix together different parts of the site. So they can bring something that was on the surface way down here into a layer that's close to 10,000 years old. Well, that's not a good thing for uh, our ability to figure out what's happening here at the site. So to solve this problem, we simply trace around the rodent burrows. We leave the different colored dirt standing all by itself. You can see how that's a little bit lighter. And at the very end, when we're done taking this part down to the level we want to reach, we come back, we take a photograph, and then we remove these out and we screen them separately. That way, we can make sure that we're keeping the rodent disturbed dirt separate from the undisturbed dirt right here. And in that process, the rodents won't win. They don't mess us up. We can still figure out what's happening here at the site and we can understand the peoples of the past.